Is that a pooper? Oh, I guess we need to record this because it's already happened. It is? Oh. Hello, folks at home and our viewing audience. Um, so, uh, most of you took the exam Tuesday already. Tonight, concert reports are due, uh, put them on Canvas. So you do have a little bit more time for those, but please get them in. And thank you to Beth, special thank you to Beth, Scott, please, for um, recommending several great uh, online concerts. In a time where thankfully there's fewer and fewer of those because uh, we're coming back to real life. Although, um, I don't know, I tend to maintain a little of both, a little streamy, a little uh, in person. Okay. So, uh, the folks that did not go, I believe Gary and Eric, and, uh, and that's it. So what we'll do is uh, we'll just you know, bring this to a close a little early, everyone else can go, and then you guys can play some music for me. <clears throat> okay, so now is the time when we put on the gas. Uh, yes? Just, uh, those weren't in the class, would be okay if I played my uh, fellowship piece? Ooh, nice idea, because Saturday is the big moment. Yeah. That's a good idea. Scholarship Saturday. Um, if there's time. All right, so then let's like set an alarm or something because I'll get into it and forget. Uh, set alarm. 11.40. Okay, done. Then we can warm up a little bit and stuff. Okay, so I want to do some uh, work towards our home stretch here between now and April 28th. It's not a ton of time, um, so we're gonna have to work hard. Uh, kaleidoscope is on our plate, so is Entre dos Aguas. And then there's a piece that I haven't even arranged yet called Cielo. But that one's just pretty and slow. It should be, it should come together easy. Um, today, let's begin with a little kaleidoscope. This is so hard to see, why? Tango rhythm. Can you clap this, please? This is what John showed us. One, two, ready, go. One, one, stop. What was, I forget the name of it, but let's do it with the, the soft one. A little bit of double cup. Two, ready, go. Right. Okay, and then the three fingers. Yeah, that's that. What was the name of that? I've got it written down somewhere. Uh, two, three, four, red. That it sounds great. Great. Um, so the one he said was, you know, we could use this. Let's say if there's a solo and we need to be receded. But then it comes to our main chorus. Oh, guys, it's a different tempo, but then we can go into our. Yeah. Okay, down here. Dotted quarter, if you can't see that. Dotted quarter. Another dotted quarter. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one. Right? Do you get where I'm getting the counting from? You could count it one and two and three and, and that's kind of irregular. Um, that's correct, but maybe this is easier. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, 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 one, two, all right, you guys do the tango. You guys do the tricio. Uh, one, two, ready, go. Palm rest. Wait, use your palm rest. One, two, ready, go. Okay, stop. Everybody's doing this. I, I want you guys to do the tricio. One, two, ready, go. Ready, switch. And stop. Okay, good. Now 
let's get on our music kaleidoscope. I have two parts. Raise your hand if you're a guitar too. It's mostly the same, I just made it a little better. A little better. C sharp in the bass should be a C natural. Oh, this sounds like a C sharp. It does sound cool, but I was trying to figure out if everyone else is playing a C7. Then why are you doing a C sharp? I listen. I confirmed on the record that Zero Negro plays a C natural there. So, um, guitar four. Uh, Jose, are you four? Yeah. So that's bar. 10 and 11, C natural, not C sharp. <clears throat> so that'll sound better with this. Okay, here comes letter A. One, a two. One, two, letter A.
Father. But those are all the main, those are all the main ingredients. So that's where we stand today on March 10th. 10th. Okay, March 10th. Um, so we got a little gap to fill. Let's start from B, which there's a pickup to B. So it's a one, two, three. That's guitar two, but one and two and three. Ba -da -da, two, three. Guitar three, what chord shape are you going to play, Anissa, for your G minor? That one suggested is randomly good. Yeah. So you're going to do regular G minor is fine. That's fine. Um, yeah, if you play, if you play, um, okay, here's regular G minor. Everybody listen. If you play regular G minor, do it. What? What's the eleven? D, is it? So, so stop no. a sec. So uh, G. Well, what's the eight? What's the eight? G. G. So the nine is. So C is eleven. So uh, yeah. So A is Wait, nine. Right. Okay. So G is eight. A is nine. 10 is B. B, and then 11 is C. 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 So you need a G minor chord with a C in it. 
what's an easy way to put a C natural in there? Right, that, I was saying to Anissa, randomly, the shape in there is excellent. Could you think of it like, that's a G minor, and then um, just, just flat? This here is a C. That's, yeah, that note there, so you could play, so watch my pinky over there, bam, bam. That would do it. I like this one better, but that works. Okay, then a D minor nine. I have to do this too. That sounds tasty. So, so like that's taking that shape for a minor, and then just add a C on top. I don't know if the C should be on top. But I don't know where that happens. Okay, then a D minor nine. Uh, what is the eight in D minor? D. 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 So the nine is E. So you play a D minor chord with an E in it. Again, uh, uh, the, the shape that they have is okay. The shape that they have on your music.
Same thing. Do it even stronger. Uh, so play out, Francisco and Jose. Letter B. One. Same thing. Two. One, two. Ready, go. Louder. Which one? Which one? B. 
seven. How are you having that? Do you mean a B flat uh, major seven? It's or? just B seven. Is what it says on here. Then there's B minor. Where are you looking? What well, measure? B. Then it goes to B minor and then to B. B seven, B minor, B seven. Uh, what measure, please? Thirteen. B thirteen. Oh, we're not in thirteen. We're in letter B right now. It's thirteen. We're in we're in section B. Right here. And that's the measure uh, 17 onward. Oh, so it's A minor. I don't know. It'd be either the G minor. Um, you could be right. It's just that we're, right now we're talking about this section. So can I hear... Can I read to the side one? No, we're doing kaleidoscope. Oops. Okay, so uh, 23... Three, one, Bill, it's just you. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, interesting. So something's happening there. Yeah, where are you, um, where do you, so I've been in, I was kind of, uh, I guess I'm in fifth position starting with that, is what I've been doing. Is where I was playing starting in uh, 22. But then obviously I have to start shifting. Or do you think I should shift earlier? Well, you can kind of work your way up the first string, yeah, with the. Uh, Yeah, so I think I was gonna shift in 26 to uh, 11th position. And then I have to go up to 12th, I think, in 28th, is what I was thinking. Is that? I'm just not, sorry, I haven't worked this little section very much, as you can tell. have to work out I think the, for me my weird spot that I need to I'm not my transition right there at, at 26 27 I think once I'm into 28 
first. Okay, oh, I can. I mean, yeah, I can I work, you're work all on the first there, basically. Yeah. I mean, I can work it out that way. I just, I'm not good at moving up that quick sight or reading it like this. But I'll, I'll get. It. Okay. Um, let's look at another new section. Let's go to letter. It doesn't have a letter. There's no letter. It's a uh, bar 70.
Okay, okay, no, I'm not gonna play at all. Same thing, I'm not gonna play one, two, one, two. Ha! 
that. All right, let's do it again. Last time. One, a two. So from 70. One, two, one, two. So you can be on camera and everything. Schedule every five minutes. So you go on, you play, you get off. The point is be ready. 
<laughs> I, I'm telling you what is going to happen, so be ready for a question about what what your plans are at City and stuff. Expand my knowledge. Well, I they want to know, for instance, are you going for a degree or are you just, um, you know, taking courses for personal enrichment? So consider your answer to those questions. Okay. All right. I will stop talking. Okay. So this is Shoemaker's Wife by John Dallin. It's a Renaissance piece. original so this is um, an Andrew York piece contemporary piece called Andesi
any um, uh, words of encouragement, uh, first support, and uh, stuff you liked? I like the, the selections. They're both really cool pieces, too. Yeah, um, I missed the first one. Same yeah. I learned from my concert report, and I'm starting to hear, beautifully identifying the melody a little louder with the harmony behind, and when you relax a little, you're you're doing that, and mm -hmm. it ebbs and flows beautifully between the two. Really like that. Yeah, it's, it's not, tension builds in. That's what I learned. Tension on this hand, please sit tension on this hand. And that's good. Yes. That's been that going to in your head. So. <coughs> been going to many online like master classes and things with yes. professionals. That's awesome. That's how you do it. Yeah. That, was, that was that was Pepe. Actually, no, that was uh, uh, Selino. <laughs> cool. Anybody else? Did you guys? You thought it was total crap. That's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you say? A few words. Go. Yeah, I liked how in the first one you could pick the pace that's in a different singing. I hope that kind of catches their attention because like. Um, that's something you really see, especially like in a lot of the pieces like his daily we play. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then the second one, I like your um the, the, the harmonics. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I like that. That part worked well. Yeah. yeah. And you like roll in tondo, so it was just musical. You know, that's hard to do, so that helps that it's in a section that you are kind of slowing down. It came out really clear. Yeah. Jose, did you like it? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's just good. But it's good, but I'm right. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Anissa? Uh, I think it sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> and that's awesome. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> what about you, Eric? Did you hear anything you like? Mm -hmm. Anything specific? I like the little pump. Ooh. They had a major, major in my head. The first one was happy, and the second one was kind of more sad. Hey, Did good you, observation. Did you hand pick the song? That's true. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the, um, the first one I did last year, and then this one is, the, the second one is the one that's more recent to me. That's the one I've been working, I started working on that at Christmas. Oh, yeah. I have a question. What are your intentions? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you taking this? I am working towards my guitar performance certificate, which would think I would be less nervous performing in front of people. <laughs> Well, are you taking other classes? I am. I'm taking music composition and uh, choir. Yeah, that's going to be cool that like you've got yeah, Zena that. in your back pocket. He said, they'll, he said they might ask questions. Zena in your back pocket because you're in the choir. And uh, let's see, Mr. Dana is probably not going to be there because you're in composition, right? Mm -hmm. um, but people know you, you know, and, and they, they want to support you, and that's, that's good. Hey, everybody, that's true in life. You know, if you get yourself out there and you, you're, you're engaged, you're supporting your colleagues, you're, you're being a part of the scene, uh, not just a consumer, but a producer of activities. Um, people notice, and you'll be rewarded for that. So wouldn't you say that's, that's always true? Yeah, mm -hmm. gotta get out there, man. Yeah, so good job doing that. Robert, did you hear anything? So I was gonna say, I thought you did a really great job separating the arpeggio from the melody. Right, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, my question, are you breaststroking the melody on top by any chance? Because it is like significantly volume-wise in front. Uh, like, I'm not saying it's yeah. down balance, but I, like, you did a really good job of projecting that. I don't curious. think I am, actually. Right. It's like, you know, some people, some people play Romanza and they breaststroke yeah. that first string with the A finger, you know? And, with that, no. I don't think and then I like the, what, What's the, the, the B yeah. minor, sword number five? Yes. Also, yeah. like, breaststroke that melody, I would think, on one and three or something like that. I don't know. I, used, I played that once. Just curious. Yeah, no. I'm always I'm, interested. It's like, I've got, so and good. I've got I'm new like, strings oh, on. You know? I've got new strings on, so there's a lot. I, have, I was almost getting a little bit of feedback on stuff because there's a lot of carryover, so I have to be careful about how much I'm pushing through. And then tell me, uh, in the first piece, the Dalin, you had a little memory slip, yeah, just yeah, like measure of like four or something? Yeah. Is that a spot that probably never gets in trouble? No, it's not. And, I, and I've and i been, because I've been just like, okay, I've got to nail the beginning. I've got to nail the beginning. And that's <laughs> I did not nail the beginning. So that was a surprise? Yeah. Yeah. So that's, hey, everybody, that's why this is so valuable. You know, you play for your friends. I'm glad you reminded me. Um, 
and then it shows you like, wow, you know, there's a couple of insecure spots that maybe you didn't even realize. <laughs> yeah. Do, I have a question. Do they ever ask you questions like, um, you know, like what was the what was the most challenging aspect of that piece for you? Or did they ever ask you? <laughs> I wish they did. Uh, no, uh, because of what Beth said, you know, we're trying to push. Yeah, yeah, along, yeah. But Maybe not in this case. What What about if you were auditioning for like a program like transferring? Would they ask yeah. you stuff like that, or is it just no, want to hear you? Come, come, but what are you playing? Scare you and then yeah. send you out. Sit down. What are you playing? Okay. Yeah. In a master class or something, yes, yeah. there, there would be a lot of exploration. But in these like audition-y kinds of things, not so much. A little bit of polite. You and know. I'd say that with a caveat in the math, because sometimes the the teachers or the, the maestros, you know, they they will say what they want. You know, so like I've done money master class where I get what I think is total just you know fluff and well oh, great, you know, just play this out here and do this. Where you have other good instructors that will really give you use your eight finger here, push it like yeah. this. This is going to bring you know. And then you have other teachers that, uh, like I've told my fist story. This one student where Elliot Fist, he played this great piece of music, um, a few the variations. Fist, he finishes. Everyone's like, oh wow, it's amazing. Fist looks at the music front and back and goes, I don't like this music. And that's his master class. He's done. Wow. So that, that's what I mean by it's like. Uh, and I, I paid for that. Ben, Ben's, yeah, <laughs> and we were in Italy. I mean, we, uh, we, went, we went far away for that, so. Wow. Yeah. Story. My friends and I played a master class at UCLA, and we are, you know, rivals. We're USC Trojans. But the musicians, you know, we're out of the fray, right? But we go in and we play this concert for their, a little bit of an exchange for their crew. And uh, I played Andrew York, Moon Fan, and my friend played an original composition of his called. Uh, Tribute to uh, Michael Hedges, and then this other guy played a Gilardino piece, and and so the guy's response, the teacher whose name was I think Yates, Stanley Yates. Oh, nice. Okay. There's there's another guy. Oh, okay. It's not, it's not, not, it's not, not that guy. Okay. It's not that guy. He goes, um, oh, you have such prodigious talent. What a shame that you played that oh. crappy music. <laughs> I was like, we just came here and played for you, and you insulted us. That is so messed up. Especially in an educational setting. Yeah. Right? Like, I mean, and isn't it about arts, you know? Yeah. It's like, yeah, you know, it's kumbaya, everybody, you know? Yeah. What was he trying, what was he saying? Like, he was venting because he didn't get into UFC when he applied. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I know, like, when Fist did that, the whole reason why Fist did that is because when this kid got up to play, he's a fantastic player. He, he went to Juilliard for his master's, USC for his doctorate. He teaches in Oregon now. Um, and he's fantastic. But he did that because like, when he got up, and, and everyone was like, oh my gosh, it's him. We got to go. They all move forward. And he missed his leg. Like, the hell? You know, like, what is this? And, and then and he's, this guy kind of has an air to him. Sure. And it's like, hey, you're the student. You know, you're trying to upstage. You know, he was, it was a teachable thing going on there, but still my favorite moment because that guy <laughs> really, really kind of hoity toity and all this. But he would say, Oh, you, you flamenco players, you play your little dances. I'm like, well, what's a little, what's a sweet? What's a sweet little bunch of dances? What do you mean? What's a beret? What's a, what's a minuet? And uh, so, anyway. <laughs> Crazy. Most of the time, guitarists are super cool and we're all very supportive of each other. There's just these. Very humorous exceptions. I feel like up to like 22, they're really e we're really egotistical, and then like after that, I was like, oh, we've seen enough that maybe we're not. Like that's kind of healthy. Yeah, that's part I see, of it, right? Some of it, more right? You yeah, see, yeah you more maturity. You see, you become yeah. humble. Hopefully, hopefully. Good job, Beth, and good luck. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Working on those first four measures. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Can I, can I give you a little nag? Add a little something. Yeah. So I know, I've done the same thing where yeah. you play a piece forever and just you make a random mistake here or there, it's never the same. And it's like, what the heck, right? Um, and I've been there and I've uh, you know, tried to figure it out. I thought it was practice more, but that didn't help, right? You know, I'm not super fatigued and tired. Um, and the best solution that I came down to, or came, came out with after 
doing some research and trying different things, it's really playing slow. That's and, and I know it sounds redundant. I've heard this in so many master classes, and it's like, oh, okay, yeah, uh, but, but really playing slow where you can think through everything and you have every choreographed movement from the kind of quote unquote, I don't say bounce because don't ever bounce me, but, but like the kind of lilts in your movements. And I mean, I choreograph all that when I play slow. And once you do that, you, I, I feel once in the pieces I've done that successfully with, once I do that, I don't ever forget them. Yeah. Like there's no really slip in any kind of way. Um, so I know you're doing it this afternoon, right? So it's, it's like, you're no, playing. it's on Saturday. Oh, it's on Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Yeah. You know, so it's something that I wouldn't, I wouldn't change any fingering or anything like that. Way right. too late to do that. But go through slowly mm -hmm. and see if you can play through it. And I've heard that they say, you know, like snail's pace. Like uh, I read this one article by. Uh, Oh, I can't dunk it. Something dunk it. A fantastic article. Like, you can train yourself to be a virtuoso, right? And it's just a matter of um, doing all the movements exact, right? And so he talks about he did use the beret as an example and doing these small movements. So so much that the rhythm is taken out, right? So you have no rhythmic activity. For me, that I can't do. It. I try. It's just I can't. I have no connection to go that slow. But the idea is there that if you go slow enough. And still maybe a little bit of that rhythmic connection so that it propels you. Um, it works really well. So it's just something to, to consider. Yeah. It uh, seems like it maybe, um, at least for me, it helps me stay focused and concentrated. Yeah. But, so I don't have slips in focus. Because that's where I'll. And I, sometimes I get impatient when I'm practicing a piece, right? I know I'm going to work on that, and I just, oh, I'm going to go through it. And I realize that I'm, I'm doing the motions, but I'm not performing it. I'm kind of going. Right. I'm, so I'm not focused, and um, and I don't know that that's helpful, really. What, what I do that, I think you need to be focused and slow it right, down. Right, right. And one thing, you come in. You come in. Yes, everyone. Um, shoot, what am I going to say? I'm stupid, stupid, walking by and losing my train of thought. Um, you're seeing the focus. Oh, the other thing, when you're going that, the whole idea in my head when I'm playing that slow or doing a slow practice um, is I make sure I go it slow enough so that in the moment, I can improvise a movement. Or like, oh, that's the wrong finger. Oh, oh this is, you know, without stopping the motion yeah. of things. Now, that's much that's already be planned out and whatnot. Yeah. Um, but uh, that's kind of one thing I think about. And then the other thing, um, when I play slow, I experiment the most with musicality, because you really can't. You're going so slow, yeah. you have time, time that you can build up. Because you're not going so fast, you know, you, you know, your passage might be 10 seconds instead of three. Right? Or something like that. So um, you can really grow that more. So it's just food for thought on all yeah. that. Yeah, and that was one of the classes I uh, sat in on last year. The guitarist talked, they asked him what his warm up pattern was. And because uh, one of the things he does is the, before his performance, on day of performance, he goes and does it really slow. David Russell plays it in his head. He's like, when I'm on the plane, I think about it and I play through it in my head. I can't, I can't visualize that much. That's too much for me. Yeah. But one thing I think about when I do play is I am not not physically humming it, but like in my head mm -hmm. I'm humming it. And one thing I do, I'm gonna say this for, because um, like I know you kind of just at least after I walked in, I didn't know you played one already, right? But you kind of jumped into it, right? I 100 percent take your time. Don't start until you're ready. I, I always kind of uh, I I take this from Yamashita. You know who Yamashita is. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yamashita, um, I, I can't say it's perfect, Kakehito Yamashita and his four kids. Anyway, this guy's fantastic. He's, he's recorded almost everything in that there is, and he did like the Firebird suite and all sorts of stuff on his own. But anyway, I've seen him perform a couple times, and uh, you can find his stuff online. He's amazing. And when he walks out, he's like Zen Master. It's like, he walks out, and it's just, you know, he, it's like he is totally he's in control. Zone. I'm not going to let anything out here affect me. And he sits down and he, you know, tune up and then he, he always kind of does this and looks at his hands and kind of, you know, collects himself is what I kind of think. And then he plays. And what I love about him, he's the only player that I've ever seen that he will hit a note and, and come out of his chair. And I love that. It's a super <laughs> rock and roll. Uh, but anyway, so he's fantastic. Um, and and don't, don't start until you're ready. You know, completely be ready. And one other thing that I do, I hum the beginning, not hum, but same thing, in my head the first opening little bit, so I can get rhythm, and then I can get connected with it, you know? So it's just, just something to think about. Don't have to do it. Could help, could not, right? Just things to, to think about, but.